The waterfront mall in Karen is where you'll find a mosaic of artistic expression on full display. But here, it's not just about the paintings and sculptures and carvings. This art exhibition has been running for more than 30 days with a more serious agenda. The over 64 artists who have come together under the umbrella of the Kenya National Visual Artists Association started in 2016 want the government to take the industry a bit more seriously. When we do most of the exhibition, you find your work is destroyed. So when you report, no action. All your work is stolen, no action is being taken. Upande wa materials are art. Uh, vitu ambazo maybe ni marangi zime, ziko, katika hali ya uh, they are very much expensive and so the group has chosen to use art and this exhibition to push for policy change that should protect the industry James Kimani quit his corporate job and has ventured into professional art since 2008 with 12 pieces of his work on display he's among the senior members of the group who are hoping something will be done to advance the industry. The support systems are not there. So mostly artists get out of school or whatever, they, either they are trained or untrained, there are no structures for artists. So you have to survive on your own. It's a situation that young artist Victor Prince Warunge knows all too well. With no prospects of gaining any form of formal employment after school, he turned to his passion of string art one year ago to make a name for himself. His work, this piece titled Vision, made out of strings and nails, is the most expensive piece at the exhibition, retailing at one million US dollars. And there's a reason for that high price tag. The idea is to build a school, have everyone of, say kids, or whoever has um, the intent of finding their purpose, grow with us and then get to put that out there for the people. It's to grow the people as a whole. So that way everyone lives a purposeful life, not just doing things for the sake of doing them. The artists want the national government to come up with a national art council and a national art gallery, fully operated and run by local artists to promote the industry. Every county is supposed to have uh, an art center where artists can walk in, uh, work from there or from home, exhibit their works. Artistic expression is guaranteed under Article 33 of the Kenyan Constitution, but the artists here know it will take more than just legal and policy formulation to change the creative space in Kenya. The people in Africa, or should I say Kenya, are not really art lovers as European countries are. So our art is not sold or we don't go far with it as someone in Europe would. Yeah. Specifically in Kenya, I want us to be a powerhouse of art in Africa. When you're here, you, you feel like you have a community, like this is an art family. And especially when you're starting up like me, you it's really important to have such platforms. It makes a whole difference. They call it a hobby. It's not really a hobby, it's a way of life for people. Some of, of the artists here have left accounting and gone to do art. What would make you leave of um, stable employment for something that you're not sure it is about? It's more than just something for a hobby, it's a way of life, it's a life in itself. And if anyone, everyone would appreciate that that is um, as much as a profession as being a doctor is, that would go so far into stretching the art market in Kenya and across the globe. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.